lion is one of the largest cats in the world and has ruled Africa for many years. Most people have the impression that the lion is the king of the jungle, everywhere it goes, its fierce aura will deter all animals. But the lioness in front of us had long lost the spirit of the past. Because of old age and illness, it had long been not as well as before, its limbs had no strength, which were not enough to support it to stand up, so it could only helplessly lying. This lioness would soon die, but when the doctors decided to euthanize the lion, a miracle happened. This lioness is a white lion, and although not on the list of endangered species, they are among the most precious animals in the world. Because of their special genes, it is difficult to pass on their genes to their next generation by breeding on their own. Therefore, some institutions set up wildlife sanctuaries to breed these white lions to ensure that their good genes can breed on, and the keepers are taking good care of these white lions. The euthanized lioness, named Sheila, has grown up in captivity for many years and is far less happy than it was in the sanctuary. But it was not its choice to do so. It turned out that Sheila was stolen from the reserve by poachers. Later that afternoon, Sheila took its usual lazy stroll around the reserve after a good meal. The sun setting on its golden fur. Even though Sheila was naturally alert, it was no match for the cunning of poachers. Sheila was so engrossed in its enjoyment that it didn't know that danger was creeping in. Suddenly, an anesthetic needle was shot in Sheila's neck and Sheila felt the pain. Startled, Sheila intended to run away, but Sheila fell to the ground in a few moments. The poachers got Sheila and sold it to a local circus. At first Sheila did not obey the handler's management, and the king of the jungle would not easily submit to the enemy, so Sheila suffered a lot. Long hours of weight training had broken Sheila's will, it knew that it may not be able to escape in this life. In order to survive, it had no choice but to obey the human's arrangement. In those days, the local wild animals were very popular as entertainment, and Sheila, a rare white lion, was very popular with the local entertainment industry. The circus often let Sheila do some dangerous actions to win the audience's attention for money, Sheila was also forced to sit quietly with humans to take pictures, in order to meet the selfish desires of humans. Sheila was forced to do something it did not like in front of people, and behind them it could not have enough food. The worst part was that after leaving the sanctuary, it lost the freedom, its companion and its keeper who guarded the white lions. The prolonged inhumane treatment not only broke Sheila's will, but also made Sheila's body so thin that it had lost its initial masculine figure. It was just in time for the circus to move and a new batch of wild animals to be brought in. The trainers looked at Sheila's weak and emaciated demeanor and had no expectations for Sheila. Circus had this rule, once the animals got older, or their physical condition began to deteriorate, the old and frail animals would be temporarily set aside to make room for the new strong animals. Sheila was not immune to this rule. Its deteriorating health meant that it would also be put aside. Such a large animal would be in danger of losing its life if left unattended for too long. Fortunately, the circus manager still had a trace of kindness and was unable to care for Sheila herself. So she contacted the relevant animal rescue department and sent Sheila to the local animal rescue center. The staff at the rescue center looked at the frail white lion Sheila, and couldn't help but sympathize with its plight. The only thing they could do now was to save the old and frail white lion. The staff first placed Sheila in a separate space so that it could nurture its body in peace. Every day, they brought nutritious food and hand-fed it to Sheila's mouth to encourage it to eat. Although Sheila ate the food brought by the staff every day, it did not gain weight and often collapsed on its hind legs while standing. Therefore, when Sheila went for a walk, 
the staff stayed with it every step of the way, fearing that it might have an accident. Under the careful care of the staff day by day, Sheila's condition did not improve, but became more serious. On the one hand, because of its old age and weakness, its self-healing ability was not as good as before, on the other hand. Because it had been subjected to the harsh training of the circus for a long time, it had also suffered great psychological damage. Sheila was also diagnosed with vitamin A deficiency autosomal plasmodium. A disease that manifested itself when the parasite mixed with the victim's blood and was accompanied by symptoms such as swollen lymph nodes, anorexia, lethargy, and decreased coordination, all of which matched Sheila's symptoms perfectly. No wonder Sheila sometimes behaved very strangely. Because Sheila was a special lion with a rare gene, or what we called a white lion, if we gave up on Sheila's treatment, we would lose the good genes of these species, so the rescue center staff had to do their best to save Sheila and do their best to keep it alive. The staff came up with a way to start with a course of antibiotics, but the problem was that Sheila needed to eat in order to do so. But at this point Sheila seemed to have given up hope of living and refused to eat. Sheila's condition gradually worsened. And the staff tried every possible way to get Sheila to eat, but Sheila was barely able to consume a small amount of food. Illness plus underweight was not a good sign for a lion, and Sheila's illness was not only physical, but also psychological. Just when the staff couldn't bear to see Sheila in such pain and was ready to euthanize it, the rescue center got the news that Sheila turned out to be a white lion at the local wildlife sanctuary, because it was sold to a circus by poachers when it was still young. Hence everything that happened later. As far as they knew, Sheila had a keeper who took care of it while it was at the sanctuary. After spending time together, they had already formed a deep bond. When the researchers learned of this, they rushed to contact the keeper, which was their last hope. The keeper received the news and quickly rushed to the rescue center to see Sheila, whom he had long regarded as his child. Looked at Sheila's haggard face, as thin as a bone, long gone from the past, he could not help but tear up his eyes, heartbroken. Sheila's feline friend, the keeper. Slowly approached Sheila, and because she hadn't seen him for so long, Sheila didn't remember, but felines were very sensitive to smells, and some smells were impossible to forget in their lifetime. Sheila smelled the familiar smell of the keeper it spent time with at the reserve. And it remembered. Sheila lifted its head weakly and rubbed against the keeper, who took Sheila in his arms like a long-lost relative. The staff was touched by this scene and rushed to get food for the keeper to feed Sheila, who was finally willing to eat. Accompanied by the keeper. Sheila was actively cooperating with the staff's treatment and its condition was gradually improving. The rescue center decided that when Sheila was fully recovered, it would be allowed to return to the nature where it belonged with its keeper. Some lives can only bloom in the bosom of nature. And every living creature is precious. The tremendous power that humans have gained from nature should not be used to harm animals. Fear nature and respect life, so that all things can live together in harmony.